Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarker Super Quick Book Preview Show. This episode, we're checking out The City of Ember, written by Jean Duprow. Let's give it a preview and see if you want to read it. Here's our passage preview, starting off with a little sample of a map they have in the book. The Instructions. When the City of Ember was built and not yet inhabited, the Chief Builder and the Assistant Builder, both of them weary, sat down to speak of the future. They must not leave the city for at least 200 years, said the Chief Builder. Perhaps 220. Is that long enough? asked his assistant. It should be. We can't know for sure. And when the time comes, said the assistant, how will they know what to do? We'll provide them with instructions, of course, the chief builder replied. But who will keep the instructions? Who can we trust to keep them safe and secret all that time? The mayor of the city will keep the instructions, said the chief builder. We'll put them in a box with a timed lock, set to open on the proper date. And will we tell the mayor what's in the box? The assistant asked. No, just that it's information they won't need and must not see until the box opens of its own accord. So the first mayor will pass the box to the next mayor, and that one to the next, and so on down through the years, all of them keeping it secret all that time? What else can we do? Asked the chief builder. Nothing about this endeavor is certain. There may be no one left in the city by then, or no safe place for them to come back to. And we'll read a little bit of chapter one, Assignment Day. In the city of Ember, the sky was always dark. The only light came from the great flood lamps mounted on the buildings at the tops of poles in the middle of the larger squares. When the lights were on, they cast a yellowish glow over the streets, people walking by through long shadows that shortened and then stretched out again. When the lights were off, as they were between nine at night and six in the morning, the city was so dark that people might as well have been wearing blindfolds. Sometimes darkness fell in the middle of the day. The city of Ember was old, and everything in it, including the power lines, was in need of repair. So now and then the lights would flicker and go out. These were terrible moments for the people of Ember. As they came to a halt in the middle of a street or stood stock still in their houses, afraid to move in the utter blackness, they were reminded of something they preferred not to think about, that someday the lights of the city might go out and never come back on. That's it for the passage preview. Let's take a quick look at some reviews. This has almost 5,000 ratings at four and a half stars on Amazon. And Common Sense Media says it's appropriate for ages eight plus and gives it a four out of five stars. We're about to check out the back of the book blurb, but first, if you're enjoying this book preview, would you mind hitting like and subscribe? That would help me grow the channel. The City of Ember was built as a last refuge for the human race. 200 years later, the great lamps that light the city are beginning to dim. When Lena finds part of an ancient message, she's sure it holds a secret that will save the city. Now, she and her friend Dune must race to figure out the clues to keep the lights on. If they succeed, they will have to convince everyone to follow them into danger. But if they fail, the lights will burn out and the darkness will close in forever. The City of Ember by Jean Duprow is a fantasy book. It's mysterious and it's definitely an adventure. It's 270 pages long and the audiobook is six hours and 50 minutes. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of truth, is this book for you? If not, be sure to check out some of the other content we have on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel to find something that you might want to read. If you like poetry books that also tell a big story, you might want to check out Starfish or Locomotion. Thank you so much for checking out this book with me. Be sure to check out some of the other stuff we got on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel, and I hope you find something that you want to read.